morning from Albanau. Um, this is the uh, third day of uh, my slow drive down to Koh Samui. Had a good night's sleep. Um, very nice, comfortable bed, nice hotel. So um, today is, is the third day. I'm going to head down to um, Shumfon. Uh, now Shumfon is not much in, in Shumfon. There's not much to do in Shumfon. Uh, so I'm going to head to the beach area, probably uh, Nana Beach. I've stayed in Nana Beach before, uh, depending on prices. I'll organise the hotel when I get there. I'll stop somewhere and have a cool drink and uh, go online uh, and check the hotels out. Should take about, I think, about two and a half hours to Shumfon from here. But I'm going to stop at uh, uh, Bang Safan. Um, on the way through, that's a nice little town. Um, only about an hour's drive from here I would take it. Yeah, so maybe an hour to Bang Safan and then another hour and a half onwards to Shumfon. Um, so that's the plan for today. Nothing, uh, I don't know if there's much to see along the way. Um, I'll just do a drive and uh, I'll try and take the coastal route, not the, um, not the highway, uh, so we can see a few nicer things and some beaches, and then uh, we see what we can find. So we're off to uh, Bang Safan. Uh, take about an hour and a half, maybe an hour, I'm not sure. I'm gonna take the scenic route, so it might take a bit longer. So I'll stop at a few places on the way if I see something worthwhile stopping for. But if not, I'll just show you Bang Safan Beach and then continue down to uh, uh, the beach areas of Shumfon where I'll stay tonight. I've got one stop to make before I do. I need to fill up with petrol. I uh, did quite a bit of driving uh, in the last uh, day or so. so I've got to fill up with petrol and then I'm gonna um, go and find somewhere for breakfast. And then I'm not a big noodle or rice person when it comes to breakfast. I prefer uh, your English breakfast or cereals, but uh, oh, when I've got a hangover, I love it. Uh, I have some spicy noodles. I even eat a lot of chili when I've got a hangover because I find that it uh, relieves the symptoms. Uh, but this morning, I'll probably uh, stop at a 7-Eleven because I don't think I'll find somewhere that'll do a, a breakfast that'll appeal to me too much this morning. So, off we go. Sit back and enjoy the trip. So I've just stopped outside of uh, Almanau, little 7-Eleven, uh, also a petrol station. So I filled up with petrol and I uh, went and got my breakfast here. Uh, didn't have any good coffee here. Uh, some do, some don't. Some 7-Elevens have got the machines, others don't. You just instant. So I don't like that. So I've got myself an orange juice and uh, like a normal yogurt and a ham and cheese sandwich. And these are always pretty good. And all this uh, came to um, 55 baht for breakfast. So just a couple of dollars and you've got yogurt, juice and um, toasted ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah. Not too bad, lots of cheese, lots of ham. Just pulled off the highway, so heading down towards uh, the beach now, the beach area of uh, Bang Safan.
So this is Bang Safan, or one of the beaches at Bang Safan. This is not a very nice one. Um, uh, it's the nearest one I pulled in at uh, because I'm thinking uh, I'm going to drive straight through Bang Safan. Uh, there really is uh, very little to do here. Um, you know, lovely beaches. Um, not this one so much, but, uh, but lovely views anyway uh, to the islands out there. And uh, it's not a place really, um, I think, to stop for a night. It's okay to maybe come here, go for a swim, if you're driving down this way to cool down on your drive, uh, or perhaps to go for lunch on your way to the next place. But to stop here, it's nothing uh, really fantastic here. Um, so I'm going to head uh, down to Chumphon, uh, down to the beach areas there. I'm not actually going through Chumphon. Uh, I did a video of Chumphon um, uh, only six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. So I'll put a link in the description box for that so you can have a look at Chumphon. I'm staying in the uh, moon Moonshine Resort. I've just checked in. Beach is just here, just over, cut through the trees there, I think. Just over that way is the beach. Only one minute walk through the coconut palms. Um, I've just checked in, it's very nice. Uh, nothing uh, fantastic, it's not the Hilton, as I've said many times before, I think I've only ever stayed in the Hilton when I've uh, my uh, employers in has uh, paid for it. Uh, but I've never paid myself. I never stay in five-star hotels. Um, I really can't see the point of spending all that money uh, when you don't spend a lot of time in the room. Yeah, if you're multi-millionaire, if you're uh, Warren Buffett or someone like that, yeah, by all means. But uh, no, nah, I'm Jed Hogg and uh, I try and save money. So this is the hotel. Uh, really nice. It's got two types of accommodation. Uh, tent accommodation, uh, which is at the back there. I'll point that out to you in a minute. And when I say tent accommodation, I had a quick look in and uh, it's fine. Uh, it's, it is a tent, but it's got a double bed, it's got air conditioning, it's got its own toilet. It's just quite small. Um, I looked at that one, I thought, no, that, that one was 580 baht a night. And uh, the one I've taken, which is over there, is 680 baht a night, including breakfast. So it's got, well, I'll show you the room, but uh, it's, it's, the only thing I don't like about it is it's very dark. But uh, there we've got the pool, nice big pool, and quite a few people here because it's Friday, and uh, people for the weekend coming down here from Chonfon and uh, surrounds. So I'm gonna get a, a beer here, and then I'm gonna sit around the pool for the rest of the afternoon because uh, I'm a little bit tired. I'll be honest, uh, you know, it's catching up on me a little bit, probably the COVID as well, uh, and my age. You put all that together uh, with traveling and driving on a motorbike, it, uh, it does take a bit out of you. Uh, so I'm gonna take the afternoon to relax and not do any filming. I'm gonna sit around the pool. I might stay here two nights uh, if I don't feel too good tomorrow, if I don't feel like driving and spend a day just at the beach and do some filming around here. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Um, I mean, where would you get something like this for 680 baht a night, which is just over $30. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get myself a Chang. They've got a nice little bar here and free water, free tea, coffee. And the staff are really helpful. And this is where you get breakfast in the morning. Breakfast is served from 7 o'clock. So we'll see what that's like. I think it'll be more Thai type breakfast, but we'll, we never know. Might be surprised. I might get a bacon and eggs, <laughs> but I doubt it. And I've got a, it's got a Chang, nice large Chang, 750 mil one for 90 baht. And uh, I'm just going to sit here under the shade because uh, all the um, chairs over there. Uh, don't have any umbrellas and we're in the sun and I feel like I've been in the sun riding a motorbike uh, all these hours so I'm gonna sit here in the shade just have a quiet beer and plan uh, what to do next 
So these are the uh, tents that you can uh, rent for, I think 580, 590. Um, but as I say, they're inside they're very good. Uh, they're just like hotel rooms but with, in plastic. But they do have air conditioning and they do have their own toilet, but very small. Um, too small for me, I, even though I'm alone. Um, I still like a little bit of room. So this is my room, got the sitting area outside here, opposite the pool. And uh, as I said, very dark. It's, it's fine now, I've got the door open, but you close the door and suddenly it gets quite dark. Um, that's with all the lights on. Because they put these type of windows in, this is more for Thai people. Uh, Thai people don't like the sun. Uh, my girlfriend, uh, or all my girlfriends, that had uh, they hate the sun. Um, whereas most English people, Australians, we just love the sun. So we like bright, airy rooms. Uh, but look, if it wasn't for the darkness, the rooms are fantastic. Uh, nice double bed there. Got TV. The workstation there, you get two bottles of water every day. But you get what you pay for. As I say, this is only costing me 690 baht a night. That's the bathroom. Quite nice. Big. And uh, a nice uh, shower there. Soap and shampoos. No, it's okay. This is very good. And as I say, tomorrow morning there's breakfast and there's also um, free coffee all day, uh, all night, 24 hours. They've got a little coffee station there if you want tea or coffee uh, over by the bar area. So it's, it's very good uh, for uh, what you're paying, as I say, maybe 690 baht. Uh, that's something like um, $30, uh, including breakfast. Now, I wouldn't get probably a breakfast in Australia for $30. So I'm at uh, Sari Beach, uh, just here in Shumphon. Uh, there's nowhere uh, to eat uh, near my hotel and they don't have a restaurant only for breakfast, they're not open for lunch and dinner. So I've had a little uh, drive down here to Sari Beach. Uh, it's, only, it's only about oh, maybe six or seven minute drive from the hotel. And there seems to be a bit of life going on here. There's a few restaurants open. So I'm going to have a little walk along and see what I can see. The problem is that it'll probably be the same as last night. Everything will be in Thai and I won't be able to order unless they speak good English. Um, here's a seafood restaurant by the look of it. In the shape of a boat. Very nice. But yeah, this is quite a a busy little area. See if I can see a menu somewhere and see if it's written in English. Let's have a little look in here. Oh, that's the boat restaurant, yeah. It must be all seafood, I would think. I'm not a big seafood eater. Had side resort. Little houses. Okay, so I ended up in this little restaurant here in Sari Beach. Um, I asked the lady uh, if you, you had a menu in English, but they don't, they only have it in Thai, and she didn't speak uh, very good English either. So I've just asked her. Um, you know, sort of, I said, I, I, I like moo, which is pork, I like uh, gung, which is prawn, and I like kai, which is chicken. You know, what, what do you got, moo, uh, in them three? And she said, oh, we can do moo, I think she said fried rice, or gung fried rice, or prawn. So I thought, yeah, that's, that's fine, it's easy. Uh, I love, like fried rice anyway. I would like to have had a better choice. Uh, the lady didn't speak hardly any English and with the menu being written in Thai, it's uh, very difficult. 
if I was with a, a, a Thai person, that's what I'm normally, when I go to these sort of places, I'm with a Thai person, and uh, obviously they can translate for me. So um, I bought a Chang beer. Not sure how much it's gonna come to because uh, uh, the menu was in Thai and I never even bothered looking at the menu. So I've just ordered a Chang beer and what I think will be fried rice. I'll let you know when it comes and I'll show you what I got. Hopefully it'll be all right. Well, they've just brought my dinner. It's, uh, it's quite nice actually. There's going to be a little bit of side chili there if I want to put some chili to make it a little bit more spicy. He said it was uh, my pet, so it's not very spicy. So I, I do like a little bit of spice, but I like to put my own in it. So that looks all right. I mean, it's not a fantastic dinner. I would have ordered some meat and uh, salad and vegetables more. But when you can't understand the menu, it's very difficult. So this will do. This will fill me up for tonight. So I'll give it a try. Before I, before I put any chilli in it, I'll give it a little bit of a try. Yeah, it's good. That's good fried rice and it's, it's full of um, pork, eggs, vegetable. Very nice. Might just add a little bit of chilli. Uh, they did do it uh, my pet, so I'll add a little bit just to spice her up a little bit. Yep. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Nice big chunks of pork there, look. Nice big chunks of pork. And uh, nice vegetables. No, that's good. That's going to fill me up nicely. And rice is good sometimes. I'm, I'm not a big rice eater most of the time. But sometimes I really think it's a good healthy option. And uh, always fills you. Problem is, an hour later you're still hungry. Yep, okay. I'll see you at breakfast. So, if you haven't already done so, please push the subscribe button, it'll help me a lot. Thank you very much. And push the thumbs up button. And if you know of anyone who might like to watch my videos, push the link button and uh, forward that to them. If you're thinking of retiring or living in Thailand, please take a look at my book, The Retiring Thailand Handbook, the first six months. You'll find it on Amazon. It's crammed full of information to help you tiptoe the logistics of making Thailand your home in retirement. Thanks a lot for watching uh, my video. So until next time, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.